Hi, and welcome to Fun Swedish. Today I have a special guest. This is Joakim from Say It in Swedish. Hey! Hello, everyone. Hi. Hey, allihopa. Hey, hey. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about what annoys Swedish people. So basically things that people are non-Swedes do that we find a little bit annoying. There, there's a lot, yes. I think. <laughs> Tell me, anything that just come across your mind? Well, I, I think uh, one thing is invading our personal space in any way. So that includes being loud on the street, right? Like uh, Americans, <laughs> if I may say so. And it's nothing wrong with that. Like, that's your culture. You, you are uh, loud, you speak loudly, and you you use your whole body when you talk and like Italians, they use a lot of Excellent. hand gestures. Swedes mm. don't. We have our hands here <laughs> and uh, we uh, mind our own business when we're out and about. So that's one thing that can be very annoying to us if someone is making a lot of fuss yeah. or, you know, is very loud. Every Swede will look and then they will look away and, and we will... <laughs> exactly yeah i agree with you we might not confront you but we will show by looking a bit like uh, with our eyes uh, so maybe do yeah. like <sighs> something like that that we don't exactly. like too much noise over there i agree with you totally maybe roll our eyes a little bit yeah <sighs> yeah <laughs> exactly but again of course we can also be loud when it's three in the morning and we drink. But if it's a Monday <laughs> yeah, exactly. afternoon, you should not be loud. Um, you should try to, yeah. You can talk, of course, but don't scream, don't put on music in the metro. These things that Swedish people find a bit annoying. We feel like if, if someone is talking, uh, our first reaction, I think, is that they are talking to themselves. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's also why hands-free is a little bit weird. I think everyone <laughs> looks at someone talking but isn't visually phoning right yeah. and so our first reaction might be also like <laughs> weird but then if we see that it's hands-free that's that's another story right but exactly we we aren't we, we don't expect people to talk in public not approach us not exactly. talk not stand too close like it, everything that invades our space yeah in any way feels weird, right? Exactly. And if we notice someone do that, our first reaction is, is this person a non-Swede? Are they drunk or meant to have some mentally problems? And it's, exactly. more, it's even worse if a Swede does, does it because it's like, <laughs> like a Swede should absolutely not break the Swedish code. If in some of another country do it, we are more tolerant perhaps. Yeah, we but... were like, all oh, oh, right, ah, okay. oh, this, uh, this person is obviously not from Sweden. If the person exactly. isn't speaking Swedish, for instance. Exactly. Then we may be, oh, it's, a, it's fine, it's fine. But if you would do it to me in the street, it would be weird. <laughs> it would be pretty weird, right? Exactly. We need to have a, a, clear, a clear agenda why we are talking to someone in public. And if we do that, it's mostly, or it used to be at least like, uh, what time is it? <laughs> exactly. Uh, but nowadays, like, <laughs> People Just, have phones, right? Exactly. So they Why don't know you look at your is. phone? Do you want to rob but, me? But I remember it's... being, right, I, I remember in the 90s, for instance, when that wasn't normal. It was normal to ask the time, and that, that's it, right? And then you leave, you exactly. say thanks, you leave, and that's uh, one thing. Or if you, if you really need help with something, mm. right? Directions or something has happened. Exactly something very clear a clear agenda but we it's annoying if someone starts to just hey what's up <laughs> we like our space and we don't like that people approach us and talk to us about nothing that concerns us uh, we, like we think that's annoying and people ask us teachers uh how do i get a swedish friend exactly to practice with so, and the thing is, in Sweden, we, we, we went to school with people. So our closest friends are mostly going to be people from school. Maybe in some cases, a, a colleague that exactly. we like uh, uh, extra much. But uh, normally they are from like school and uh, if want to get a Swedish friend. And how we Swedes also do it, we join a club 
or an organization or, so, or we take a course exactly. to meet people. We need an <laughs> excuse yes. to meet and talk and to be social. Exactly. That, that's key. That's like uh, mm. uh, the like the secret secret <laughs> tip exactly do some kind of activity activity together with the swede and maybe in the beginning you start talking about that activity i know maybe you're studying italian okay you talk about how is to study italian and then maybe when you have talked about that topic you can go to more personal things but it's normally connected with the activity or the thing you do with that person yeah but so no that, small that's talk. like that's why we think it's annoying to get approach right yeah and, in the street uh, people mm -hmm. invading our personal space and whatever uh but if we both have a reason the same reason to be in a you know uh, in a spot like somewhere mm -hmm. uh, this i can uh, i can tell you a little story uh when um, i went to school in stockholm and in the evening I, I wanted to go home no trains uh, no uh -huh. trains were working right yeah. so there was so many people <laughs> so many people uh gathering there because yeah. there was nothing working and yeah. and then there was like uh a train that were was supposed to go and then it didn't go i think and here people started to exactly talk because they you had something in common and you were angry. Small, it was like, it was small talk, but it yeah. was like, you know, this tr these trains, right? <laughs> yeah. And like, we, we became one. Yes. Yeah. So this... In anger. So, what I wanted to say is that these, uh, these situations uh, can become like when you go to a, you know, an, a club or... Uh, with club, I mean, an, like an organization, yes. like a meeting or whatever. This turned into that kind of. <laughs> so exactly. here it was okay yeah. for people to start to talk because everyone got so mad because we had been standing there for like yeah. over an hour and there were just so many people, right? Yeah, so, so much to say, so much to complain about. Yeah, yeah I agree exactly. With you. It can start there, right? Absolutely. So, so go to very crowded places <laughs> yeah. where everyone are, uh, are uh, everyone is angry at the same thing. <laughs> exactly. No, I agree with you. Also, like when I talked with, to my neighbors, is when you know there's been problem with the elevator. Then we talk oh, about yeah, the elevator yeah. problem. We have a problem, and then you start talking, and then maybe it's like, oh, you live on the second floor, mm -hmm. and we get to know more about each other. But just because it started with a problem or some anger. Yeah. <laughs> so now song. you guys you, you, everyone knows the secret sauce here how to <laughs> how to befriend a sweet you you go to a place where you have something in common then you talk about that thing and then it, that okay. evolves into if you have the right chemistry right that, exactly. that evolves to to uh, to more personal things and uh... So another thing that I think most Swedish people find very annoying is when you don't respect the queue system. What, what do you think, Joachim? Have you experienced I it? think the most, you know, irritating thing or annoying thing is when people are standing too close to you. Yeah, invading if, your if personal you, if space. If you've seen, like, if you've seen pictures, uh, there, there are pictures, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. on the internet of, of uh, uh, Swedes standing at bus stop. You can see that, like, it's the distance of, like, two arms. Exactly. Well, COVID for us was easy. Lengths of sound. Yeah, exactly. For us, COVID and all the distance was a normal thing for us. It was just a normal yeah, day. Yeah, we didn't really need to, to uh, change <laughs> our queuing system no. at all because we always stand you know, two meters apart or whatever it is, one exactly. and a half. And in Germany, for instance, people are really close. I mean, like you can sm smell them, feel them <laughs> breathing down your neck. That's how close they are. Mm. And that's super annoying. Yeah, that wouldn't happen in Sweden. And if no. you do, Sweden will be, maybe wouldn't confront them, confront them directly, but we would you at would least- take a look like- Yeah, like- Look, yeah. and then go like- <laughs> Exactly. And maybe look at the other person, like, excuse me, are you seeing what he or she is doing? Yeah, yeah. It would look like, <laughs> we would look after, you know, like, seek exactly. eye contact with someone. Exactly. Like, like <laughs> that gesture. <laughs> exactly. Totally. But because w then we move on and uh, move back to, like, is this person, like, ill? Yeah. Or why is he so close to me? Is like someone that's, you know, weird exactly how a drunk that exactly and you know doesn't uh you know doesn't respect the our our codes, codes. 
exactly yeah, yeah. exactly so yeah that's very annoying and we find it very weird and again if you're not from sweden maybe it's like okay they're just americans or they're just from another country but if a sweet does it it's super weird mm, they're very yeah, suspicious yeah, 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 yeah. so something i find very annoying is um arriving late uh, oh yeah 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 like for instance there is a, a party or a meeting we are there on the on the minute Exactly. I mean, some cultures say they, they might be uh, uh, early, or some are, you, in some cultures you're you're uh, late, right? Exactly. But we are like on the minute. We're there on that when <laughs> when it's supposed to begin. We are there, right? Exactly. If we are early, we don't we 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 don't show it. Like we exactly. wait somewhere where where <laughs> they can't see us. Right? Exactly, exactly. And if we would come late, you can't wait. You know, you, you need to write right away and saying you're sorry and telling how how late you will be. I actually had a friend. She came four. She's a Swedish friend. She came forty minutes late the other day, and I was really really angry at her because it was raining <laughs> and I was standing outside of a bar. Oh. And then do you know what her excuse was? It was, I'm sorry, Daniela, it's just I have been hanging out with too many expats. So, <laughs> you see, that was her excuse. And again, I think that I, if it would have been an expat friend of mine, I would be more okay, more tolerant. But as a Swede, again, she knows the code. She shouldn't be arriving late. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about who's a scene? Um, oh, yeah, who's a scene? Good word, good word. Untranslatable yeah. <laughs> Swedish word. Yeah. But exactly. So who's the scene for those who don't know? It's when uh, you have guests over and the first thing you do is to show them around and you to show like every room yeah. in the you, apartment. You make a tour of your, your, your house and whatever. Exactly. Is this something you do in Germany? No. No. So like you wouldn't show them your... Uh, that's, that's weird. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I know some people, um, Swedish people find it a bit annoying if you don't show them your house. It's like, yeah. but excuse me, I want to see your house. Uh, why? And, Why don't and this is very odd when you yeah. think about it because we like our personal space. Yeah, it contradicts itself a lot. <laughs> it, it's really it's like this concept is just super weird when you think about it or when yeah. you think about all the other other things that we uh, don't like. Exactly. <laughs> so it's super weird. We have this. <laughs> we 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 don't want to invade uh, anyone's space, etc. But if we go with your guests exactly we, we want to have a tour i can imagine how people think that might be a boasty yeah because we don't like when people boast or no. brag exactly uh, uh, but i can see how this is also contradictory because you could also take it as <laughs> someone if they are showing their house they are probably they prepared that you you are gonna have this tour so it, it's clean it's exactly ev nothing is uh, um you know on the floor everything is just not how it's normally of course because <laughs> you have been cleaning the house for hours that's also for why hours. we can't be spontaneous we need to plan because exactly because we need to clean the house so we can do this house tour but i remember being a bit annoyed i had a Shetinian friend coming over and i had been cleaning the house the whole day and i, I said like do you want me to show you around the house he's like no no, just tell me where the toilet is and I'm okay. Oh, and I was no. like, oh, but I want to show you my house and I want you to give me compliments about my yeah. house. And I didn't, I didn't get that. And yeah. then I have Swedish friends that like, they come in and they reclaim. They want like, give me the house tour. They won't even want to enter, you know, the, the living room until they have seen the whole house. Mm -hmm. So it's very weird, but this is something it, that can annoy. It, yeah, I mean, it feels contradictory when you, when you talk about it on camera like this it's like i know why but do wait a do minute this? we we don't we don't like to invade people's space and yeah. spaces and personal space and now yeah. we need to you know show them around our personal exactly even living that, you know, area and yeah. uh and like like i said for some people that might seem like showing off exactly. i guess yeah. but we don't take it i don't, I don't know it's we we i think we just want to, yeah, oh, here, here's the living room, here's the bathroom, <laughs> here's the, the uh, bedroom. And we just like, okay, okay, so, like exactly. we're neutral like that. And we would say, oh, it looks yeah. nice. It looks exactly. We like the color on the wallpaper, whatever, like a, a few 
minor compliments. Exactly. I guess it's also a way to say like, this is my house. I want you to, I want to invite you, my guest. I want to invite you to my whole house. Yeah. Like, um, you know, uh, a way to, uh, a way to show that we, uh, we think the guests are important exactly. enough to us that yes. we would let them in. Exactly. Finally. So that might be, <laughs> so, so it's like zero or 100. So it's like, totally. we don't want you to talk to us, but if we invite you to our house, that's 100% yeah. here. It's it, my space. Welcome. <laughs> exactly. And if you're trying to get Swedish friends, if you get an invitation to their house, then it means that you're special, that you are, yeah, yeah, exactly. you have become a friend of them or almost there. So totally. Um, but and another thing that I know also I can be a bit annoyed about is when people criticize Sweden. And I know oh, it's yeah, weird. Yeah. <laughs> I would say even even uh, sometimes that also goes for like the whole Nordic yeah. area. Like exactly. We we like siblings, <laughs> like we we are we are allowed to bash on yeah, on Norway and Denmark. In Finland, <laughs> they are weird, right? But if the Americans would come and yeah. say something about Denmark, that's weird. Yeah, most we most of the times, like ninety percent of the times, it's something we have too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, we take it very personal. It's true, but of course, I don't like them to. I don't want the Americans to say that the Norway is better than Sweden, and I also oh, get no, a bit no, annoyed. That, that's <laughs> so we kind of it's a love hate relationship. Uh, the the reason we 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 would use America as an example is, for instance, on my channel, mm. uh, most viewers are from the US. So, uh, yeah. so, so it's like the default because most mm. people watching would be Americans. So. Exactly. And we really like Americans, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. but just don't criticize Sweden. Then we like no. you less. No, but in general, yeah. And also I had, I, I used to live in Argentina and Spain and also, especially in Argentina, some people thought that Sweden, since it was a socialist country, they thought mm. Sweden was part of the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. And um, I get a little bit annoyed and a bit upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but of course, also Swedish people sometimes don't know where Argentina is. So, you know, we, we it just, happens. We, we just like when, when people know about us. I exactly. Think. We get very, very proud. Uh, exactly. Totally. Because uh, Finland is very much like that, but they are like next level in, ah. in comparison. But we have that too, that yeah. if Sweden is mentioned anywhere uh, or like we, we are very proud of our global companies, for yeah. instance. So if people know about a brand from Sweden, we're like, oh, it's Swedish. Yeah. You get extra point. Exactly. And if you don't know the HM and, or IKEA is Swedish, we will get a bit annoyed. Yeah. Yes. Well. It's like, yeah, <laughs> we are <that's>, proud. <laughs> we, yeah. We're proud about them because they are so popular. But if you don't exactly. know that they are Swedish, it's like, well, uh, our thunder was stolen a little exactly. bit. Exactly. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Another thing that I also find that maybe Swedish people think is a bit annoying, I can also f feel that sometimes, is when uh, when uh, uh, they get interrupted. If the, the Swedes often wait for their yes. turn to talk, they want, okay, now it, I can talk. And in other cultures, it's more okay to interrupt. It's maybe also a way to show that you're interested in what they're saying, mm. the other person is saying. And we, we would be also be annoyed because now I'm going to take Americans again as an example. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for that. but you talk and you talk and you talk and you talk because it's awkward to you if, if you if if it would be silent right yeah. and you assume that you're expected to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk as, as a sweet i'm waiting for my turn because exactly. i want you to finish exactly and then give me the word right uh so i understand that you might think it's awkward that i'm not gonna uh, that i'm not saying anything and exactly. why am i just sitting there yeah are you not uh, interested we, yeah exactly but we we listen and we want you to finish uh and then we can b be a bit annoyed if we can't say anything but we we just like we we don't say it because we don't interrupt you so exactly we're waiting for a turn to talk and for me it was really difficult in latin america and in latin america i'm seen as a shy person which i'm not mm, exactly. not in sweden that's the thing like we are seen as rude sometimes yeah, shy sometimes exactly. uh, it's <laughs> we aren't shy we, no. we just we are waiting <laughs> for the right moment <laughs> to talk exactly so there are two things here two things to take away from this we don't like to be interrupted no so that's annoying but it's also annoying if you never stop talking 
exactly. So, you are Kim. Thank you so much for coming today. It was great Thank you having, for having you on my channel. It's been fun. Thank you. So, uh, to all our followers, um, let us know in the comment section below what you think about this. Joachim, do you want to add something? Yeah, what, what, what do Swedes do that you think is annoying? <laughs>